This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium Free Talk. This Infinium Free Talk is entitled, It's Only Going to Get Worse. My brothers, as you may be aware of, there is a disturbing video of a young mother who is also an Instagram model by the name of Taya Posley, who is abusing her one-year-old daughter. The child became the target of Taya's abuse because the child's father was not responding to her calls. My brothers, I can't ascertain as to whether or not Taya is a single mother or if she is currently cohabitating with or married to the child's father. However, what is quite clear is that the daughter became a proxy in terms of Taya's anger at the father, thus making her an easy target for her mother's abuse. My brothers, in the audio clip which I'm about to play, Taya can be heard hitting her daughter as well as screaming obscenities about her man and also screaming at her daughter, telling her that she hated her. Post shit, right? Your daddy wanna post shit, right? He wanna fucking post shit and I answer the goddamn phone! I hate your ass! My brothers, whether it is the mother or the father, child abuse, verbal or physical, is unacceptable. Although Taya was arrested and charged, she should also be seen as the tip of the iceberg in terms of the many problems men face when it comes to procreating with women. Hence, men who are considering procreation or are facing intense pressure to procreate with women should consider these issues. Number one, Taya is a perfect example of how many women do not love their children and only see them as an ends to a means. The ends to a means being resources she will receive both from the child's father as well as from the government. Number two, since children are seen as only tools to get access to resources, children can be subjected to two types of abuse, physical as well as mental. Here it is the mental abuse which can take on many forms and can be just as horrific in its effects as physical abuse. For instance, mothers routinely brainwash their children to the extent that they hate their fathers. This can result in children never really knowing who their fathers are, which will lead to, in some cases, a lifetime of relationship loss. So my brothers, for instance, what happens when a child, a son or a daughter comes to a father after years of being told that their father was a deadbeat, he was a bad man, he was a bastard, whatever, only to find out that what their mother told them was a lie. And there is 10, 20, maybe 30 years of relationship loss there. What does that do to a son or daughter's mind in terms of how they feel about their mother, how they feel about their father, in terms of their life, which was basically a lie? That, my brothers, would mess somebody up. It would make them feel angry. It would make them feel angry against their mother, angry about the loss that they had, never being able to know their father, that type of thing. And as well, what Taya did to her child, her young daughter, was to tell her that she hated her. She screamed at her and told her that she hated her. Again, what does that do to a young boy or a young girl when their mother or their father tells them that they hate them? Hatred and the open expression of such directed at children is, in my opinion, my brothers, the worst thing that a parent could ever do to their children. So again, mental abuse can be just as horrific as physical abuse. Number three, children can be weaponized in many ways and to do many things ranging from extracting resources to tormenting fathers. How many times, my brothers, have we seen cases where men, good fathers, are taken into court and repeatedly pounded for resources drained of all the resources, even thrown into jail. How many times, how many cases have we seen this happen 
to men. And how many cases, my brothers, have we seen where women have tormented their children's fathers by using them as weapons, by doing all sorts of things to keep their children away from their fathers, to keep the fathers away from their children, lying upon them, put, putting them in situations where they are made to look bad. Again, how many times, my brothers, have we seen these types of things where women have tormented fathers using their children as weapons against their fathers to both torment them and to drain resources from them. Number four, when a woman finds that using her children as a weapon upon a man who she is involved with is ineffectual, there is a possibility that something horrific may happen to the children, like being deleted. My brothers, before all of this was kind of scrubbed off of the internet and is still in the process of being scrubbed, I found that there was indication that Taya, in her anger, was intent on deleting her daughter. And my brothers, we have seen in the past where women who find it impossible to use their children as a weapon against their husbands or the men that they have cohabitated with, whatever, they have deleted the children involved or they have done something to the children in some way to harm them. Because again, the children being a tool that the woman can use to cause problems in the man's life, that tool became ineffectual and therefore useless to the woman. And when women find that a tool is useless to them, they usually try to get rid of it. So in the case of children, there's a great possibility that children can be deleted because of their uselessness to women as a tool. Number five, a mother, even though she exhibits unstable behavior, is more likely to get a pee pass in terms of how she is treated versus how a man is treated after an event like this. Example given, Taya was released on bond for about $2,000. My brothers had a man did what Taya did, his bond would be much, much higher than $2,000. As well, he would be put on certain restrictions and there would be endless talk about what he did all over the internet, all over MSN News, everywhere possible. You would not hear the end of it. And as well, it would not be in the process of being scrubbed and cleaned up as it is right now. Number six, forced acceptance of the mother's behavior because of her power within and the backing of the feminist plantation state. So my brothers, how many cases have we seen where men are forced to accept the behavior of a mother or a wife who is in relationship with them or any woman who is in relationship with them? And how, if we men object, if we say something, we are told to be silent, we are censored, we are uh, put down, we are told that we are not good men, and we have to accept without criticism, without any type of thought, any type of thinking involved, the behavior of women when they do these things, when they do things like Taya did to her daughter. Number seven, single fathers are regularly condemned as incapable of being good parents, when in reality there are many single fathers worldwide who are good parents and who can parent better than women. Number eight, when a man gets involved with a single mother, there is a high probability of her anger being deflected from the first man to the second man. So basically, my brothers, when you get involved with a single mother, you can have a scenario where her anger at the first man is deflected upon you, you being the second man. 
for no reason at all except for her anger at the first man which is unresolved in her heart. My brothers, in the mid-90s, I actually dated a single mother. And yes, everything that we Red Pill and MGTOW content creators have been saying about single mothers was true. I found it to be true in that relationship in terms of everything from Cray Cray, everything from her bizarre behavior like calling me up or texting me in the middle of the night and uh, bothering me before work, that type of thing. But in particular, it was her deflection of her anger at the first man who was a father to her teenage son upon me who was the second man. And for instance, we would be having dinner or something like that and she would regularly rage about how this man was and then how I was like him when I was nothing like that man. In fact, I didn't even know the man. I didn't even know what he looked like or what he acted like. I never met him. But yet, I would have this done to me. Again, the deflection of the anger from the first man to the second man. My brothers, to be clear, this is not to defend any actions of an abusive father, but it also should be made clear that women are just as capable of child abuse. As well, women have in the past partnered with men, husbands, boyfriends, etc., in terms of abuse being executed upon their children. Finally, my brothers, consider the aforementioned issues when you are confronted by the feminist plantation state with demands that you do your duties in terms of dating, cohabitating with, or marrying women. Because in every sense of the word, it is not worth it to lose your freedom because of a woman. This is the MGTOW Infinium, and this has been an Infinium Free Talk. My MGTOW brothers, as always, stay safe. Stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.